Hey there, this is TechRaj. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to solve an error on Windows 10 that is the automatic repair error. Now, uh, this error is like it is like a loop. I mean, so in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to bring your system out of this loop. First off, let's see how the problem actually looks like. Just turn on your computer and you just enter your password, blah blah blah, and um. and here you can see um preparing auto repair it says preparing auto repair and then it just loads loads and and then it says diagnosing your pc and it loads loads and here oh yeah it says automatic repair cannot work it says UPC did not start correctly well well you have two options there one to restart and the other one the advanced option so let us try the restart one so when as soon as you click on the button your PC will be restarted and then the and you see again it says preparing automatic repair okay let's wait and see what happens all right it again says diagnosing your PC let's wait and oh yeah the same error once again so the first option that is the restart does not work um well now let's go to the second option that is advanced thus um advanced options and um, okay so now go to troubleshoot the second option the troubleshoot and then you will see the first option says uh, reset this PC okay so let's try it um, just click on that and you will see two options one to keep your files and do the reset and the other to remove everything and re do the reset now let's try the first one to keep your files and do the reset okay it says like this but it finally displays an error message that the reset is not successful okay well now uh, here um there is a second option which says remove everything but believe me it don't work either i have tried that method and that don't work so please don't um select that option because it is very risky it's uh, it removes all your files but you will get nothing i mean you will not get your windows 10 fixed no not at all very well okay don't worry just follow me well, when your PC creeps into this error, the only thing that you can do to get your PC back is that you need to install another operating system or you can also reinstall the Windows 10. Well, that's the only thing that you can do if you want your PC back. There is no other way that you can get your Windows, your current Windows 10 back with your with. Like, you cannot get them easily. So if you do so, I mean, if you install an operating system or reinstall Windows 10 then all the files present in the system drive that is the drive where you have currently installed the Windows 10 will get lost if you really don't want those files to get lost then you have to perform a backup if you have not yet performed a backup before you can perform now now in this tutorial I'll be showing you a technique to perform a backup from outside the windows I mean without logging into your Windows 7 Windows 10 user account you can still perform a backup by using the command prompt so just use this technique to if you don't if you don't want to lose all your files which are there in the system drive this is very easy go to advanced options and then just uh, uh, click on that CMD option there so here in the CMD first the type type in disk part d i s k p a r t and then just type in list volume 
l i s t v o l u m e list volume and then just click on enter and then you should see all the partitions that you have on your hard disk here i have five partitions and locally c is where i have installed the windows 10 very well this win if you have installed if you want to install other windows then the files in c drive will get lost now so we have to back up the c drive very well just type in exit and you leave this part and over there type in c followed by semicolon and then type in dir so here or here you will see the folders that are actually present in the c drive so here are the folders and you can see a folder named users so this is where all your files are in, i mean all your files are stored i mean all your downloads videos my pictures my videos my music all, all of them are stored now to back up you need to copy that fold that folder to some other drive where the windows is not installed in this video i'll be copying that folder to the e drive in my hard disk to do that the code will be x copy space x copy space the directory where the users folder is present so here it is present in the c drive so c semicolon backslash users space e to where i want to copy that backslash space forward slash e so this is the code and now I'll just click on enter and uh, well as soon as you click enter you will see some things run something's running on the screen these are all just uh, um, like there the files are being copied to the e drive I mean the the user account the users folder is being copied to the e drive well after this is done you will see something like this and it says all the files copied here i have 803 files in the user so all of them are copied successfully that's it and now you need to reboot your computer so just turn off your computer and then just turn it on by clicking the power button and after you turn it on just uh, uh, keep clicking the f2 key on your keyboard continuously and uh, then you will see the boot menu so here you might have uh, this this window different basing on your computer anyway just go to the boot menu and click on the boot device priority however you may have the options differently here you need to keep the usb c in the first position of course if you have another option like boot from usb i mean boot from cd then just select it and then you need to have uh, you need to get that windows 7 installation or any other operating system installation disk just place it in your cd tray and uh, yep just place it and uh, close the tray and then you need to wait for some time so that the, uh, the so that the cd gets loaded just wait for some time And after that's done, just uh, click on F10 key, which says save and exit, and click on S, and that's it. Now your computer will be rebooted over here like this. Don't mind those passwords as the password for my hard disk. You will not get those. Okay, anyway, it says press any key to boot from CVD. So just press some key. And then here, uh, I'm gonna install the Windows 7. So here is the Windows 7 uh, setup menu. Uh, it comes like this. However, you might be installing some other what is this operating system or even Windows 10 again. Okay, it's it's up to you. So well, this installation goes normally. Now you're out of danger. All that you need to do is just wait for some time and wait for the installation to finish and wait for the windows to get installed very well So after the operating system is installed successfully and also after you have installed the drivers for your PC, 
your system will be back as it was before it will be completely all right now coming to the drivers generally windows 10 come with inbuilt drivers but in case of other operating systems like windows 7 you need to install those drivers externally um by the help of the cd given given to you um when you buy your pc or else you can just download the that i mean these drivers from the web um based on the model of your computer and then you can just install it very well you can see i've done a backup before now let's see where are those files i've done it to the e drive right well it will be named after the your user account my user account here is teja so look a folder named teja is here so which contains all the files that have backup so here you could see the downloads the pictures the documents and all of them have copied have backed up uh, using cmd right so these are not affected well guys thanks for watching and that's the end of the video so please please like my facebook page i want to tell you firstly please like my facebook page at facebook.com slash techcross156 and also please do subscribe to my new newsletter at my official website www.techcross156.com Please, please also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Tech